What is going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of us opening up some boosters in Pokemon Duel where we have version 6.0. I cannot believe all the different options we have at our disposal right now, um, including the latest sale that just went on. They have like the new launch start sale, whatever it is. Pretty much the same sale that they have every now and then, like once a month or so lately. Where for $3.99 you get $20 worth of gems. And for $7.99 you get the usual $40 worth of gems. This is American uh, currency I'm speaking. Uh, but yes, pretty dang crazy. I cannot believe all the new Ultra Beast we have. The new QRM forms as well. This is just getting absolutely ridiculous. And I'm not sure exactly where, she, where we should start with all this. But without further ado, let's at least get into it. Um, let's go look over some things. As you can see, you have a limit of five sextuple boosters right now, which come with an array of different EX Pokemon, mainly new, but then to throw back, we do have some Reshiram and Zekrom as options, obviously, because they do fuse with Kyurem as well. But, yeah, I mean, we have exclusive loyalty as usual, but we also have the second anniversary booster, which comes free just for simply logging in during this event right now, where you get a six-pack full of at, le uh, at least one EX Pokemon, maybe even get a UX in there. We'll be sure to open that in this episode, but let's get started with a cool little 10-pack over here. Let me see what kind of 10-packs we have available. Here we go. So, a chain level one, and you double the odds for new figures. Guaranteed to drop at least one EX or UX figure, which is pretty standard with 10 packs, the whole guaranteed at least one EX part. But you're not, it's, it's not very often that we get a guaranteed chain level one and doubling the odds for new figures. So we are going to be spending some gems on this in particular, for sure. So let's get started. I mean, I'm, let, let's just see right here. So 15% chance that more will drop. This is an older booster that we had available during March where you have a 15% chance of getting more EX and UX. This one is just simply doubling your odds of getting new figures that are brand new to the game as of 6.0. So something to keep in mind, but without further ado, let's get into it. Let's open up our first 10 pack. We will be opening up quite a few things since we have the extra currency right now. Why the heck not? Um, we, I don't think we'll be opening up all 6,000 gems worth, but we're going to have some fun. Guaranteed. All right. So here we go. Oh, starting off with at least a rare. All right, there, there are definitely worse ways to start an episode. Banette, cool, I'm down with Banette for sure. We've gotten several upon several in this show. But why not? What else are we getting here? Lothad, or Lombre, I'm sorry about that. Lothad is the pre-evolution, obviously. Come on, let's smash it till it works. Another uncommon, it looks like. Magmar, okay, oh, we got a rare out of it, then hey. Saying, mash until it works. All right, what else are we getting here? Smoosh, 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 smoosh. Okay, little Petalil. Nice. Moving on. What are we pulling here? Oh, it's a Viper. Okay. Moving on. Come on, baby. Hariyama. All right, cool. I, actually, I like Hariyama. It's purple attack is pretty cool, in my opinion. What else are we getting here? Remember, we're guaranteed at least one UX for a 10-pack. And sometimes in past episodes, we've gotten very lucky with um, EX and UX Pokemon in 10-packs. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, here comes at least an EX, it looks like. Oh, Kabalion. Wow, this is actually a Pokemon I've been wanting ever since it got released way back when. I can't even tell you how many updates ago this Pokemon has come about. But, there we go. Nice. Here we go. I'll take it, though. Kabalion is really cool. Negating gold attacks, I do believe, of your opponents. Another Bellsprout. Eh. Come on, baby. Let's get another EX for this one. Come on, eh. Not two. Oh, come on. That's two Bellsprout in a row or so. Three in the whole entire 10-pack. That's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, but we got EX Recycle as a plate. That's not so bad. But look at all those freaking Bellsprout. That is just saddening. That's very, that's very saddening, to say the least. Anyway, let's... um, Man, should we go again right now? Yeah, let's go again. What the heck? Why not? Let's jump in. Hopefully, we'll, we will not have a repeat of what we just pulled. Because apparently, Bellsprout are running rapid like weeds. Let's see. Oh, oh, we dropping frame, boys. Oh, wow. Does that mean this, like, 
10 packages full of epic pulls. I'm hoping that's the case. Tangula, brand new to the game, along with Tang Growth, I do believe. Here we go. Here we go. Something good. Something good. Ooh. What are we getting here? Articuno. We've pulled the boy before, but hey, you know what? I'll take another. Why not? An EX is an EX pull. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. We're dropping a little bit of framage right now, and I'm not sure why. All right. Looks like it's trying to recover. Executor. Very nice. It would be fun to have, like, an Executor exec execute deck one day. I was really close to, to building one, and then I just... I didn't like them taking up, like so many slots in my inventory so i kind of just used a lot of them but that's all right here we go i actually kind of like delibird it's pretty cool lapras all right we got a rare pool come on let's get some more ex's here come on baby maybe even a ux if we're lucky bulbasaur not the best starter pokemon in this game but you know we'll work with it let's see what else we can get here come on baby at least an uncommon Oh, wow, we got an Uncommon Marini. Sweet. I wouldn't mind a Toxapex, though. That would be pretty sick. Come on, baby. Come on now. Litten. I'll take Litten. One of the better Uncommon figures in the game, in my opinion. Negating gold attacks. Oh, no, no. Yes, negating gold attacks in the game. Oh, and Rowlet. There we go. I, I was wanting to say blue attacks, but that is Rowlet, I believe. That takes out those. Here we go. Oh, okay. Another rare, perhaps. EX, maybe? We have a Venusaur. Our first Venusaur pull ever. I believe we got a Mega Venusaur quite a few episodes back. So it's cool to know that now, if we want to, we can actually evolve one into the other. And we have one of the brand new plates in the game, Miracle Seed. And never melt Ice. Wow, we got both new ones, which basically just add 20 damage to either a Grass-type Pokemon or an Ice-type Pokemon for as long as it's on the field. And a Phantom Spear. Wow, okay, so we're getting a lot of um, booster-exclusive plates right now. Kind of neat. And a whole load of material. We'll take it. Heck freaking yeah. All right, well, at least this time we got two EXs in there. I'm happy with that. Let's go back to the booster settings, though, and let's move on to some other cool pulls here. Why the heck not? Interesting to see, though, that there are no four packs available, I don't think. Yeah, they're all ten packs or a sextuple. Crazy. Wow. Okay. I'm not sure what I think about that. I guess, is the game... Oh, no, okay, we do have a quadruple. All right. Well, you know what? Let's, let's move on and do a quadruple then real quick. Maybe we'll get lucky. I have no idea. Well, let's just see what we can pull off. It would be cool to pull Cortana. Cortana. Cartana. I play too much Halo. <laughs> Here we go. Phantom. Not a bad uncommon. Maybe not its heyday like it used to be, but, you know, it's still an effective figure nonetheless. Trevenant is really fun to play with. Another Surviper that, like we got earlier. Numero three. Oh, wow, Dartrix. I think, yeah, it is our first Dartrix pull. Nice. All right, well, that could be our only rare, but hopefully we can pull something else. Maybe we'll get lucky. Though, in a four-pack, obviously, we are only guaranteed a minimum of rare rarity. So, we got our rare. Not bad. Not exactly what I wanted, but it's all right. All right, let's go back to booster, because we have a lot of other stuff we can open right now. I think we should go do exchange single. Don't worry, we won't do all 35. I won't make you guys sit through all that. But I figure, you know what? Let's just run our odds, see what we can do. Though, with singles, you are guaranteed a minimum of uncommon rarity. But it looks like we might get a rare here. Oh, wow, we have brand new Cacturn. Brand new as of 6.0, so I'll take it. Awesome. Heck yeah, and a little material there. Material. I'm actually pretty... I'm, I'm down with that. Why not? Especially when you're when you're only guaranteed an uncommon, at least. It's nice when you get a rare every now and then. Especially when it's a brand new rare. Like something new to the set. So I'll take it for sure. Here we go. Alright, now we have our, our 60 frames per... Oh my god, what the heck? Look at that moral lull. It's... <laughs> How, have you guys experienced this before? Is this like a... A glitch as of 6.0 because it's definitely not a shiny it's just lacking all of its coloring and it's like its eyes and everything how weird I've never seen this in the game since it's like since it's release in America and Western release I guess I should say 
That is so insane. Oh, I'm just going to screenshot that real quick. Because that is a rare sighting for me, at least. Wow, I'm glad we got it on video. <laughs> cool. Okay, yeah, now it shows its, its coloring and all that up there. Okay. That was really interesting, though. I've never seen that before. How trippy. All right. <laughs> all right, well, let's see what we can pull off here. Are they all going to be like that now, I wonder? Okay, now Delibird's good to go. That would be pretty trippy to see Delibird like that. <laughs> Dang. All right, all right, let's move on. I, I wonder if any of them will ever pop up like that again. That might be the only time we ever see that. At least on this channel, I'm not sure. But interesting more little pull there, for sure. All right, let's see. Another Hariyama, cool. Game, are you trying to make me make like a Hariyama-ish deck or something incorporating Hariyama? Maybe so. All right, we'll do a couple more singles. Again, since we're not really guaranteed sick-ass pulls from single boosters, I won't, I won't want to sit here forever doing this, but a couple more won't hurt. Another Dartrix, or I'm sorry, Dartrix, Rowlet. I will always take more Rowlet because I love the Gen 7 starters in this game. They're ridiculous for just being so... For, for being of such easy rarity to pull, it's kind of crazy, like, the, the, their capabilities, really, and how potentially easy it can be to evolve them. They're definitely the un uncommon figures to run. All right, and another Phantom. All right, let's do one more. Let us do one more single booster, and then we'll move on. All righty. Let's see, and let's just skip right to it. Oh, and we got a, what is that, a Bergmite? Yeah, Bergmite, I believe. Cool. So Bergmite in an Avalug deck would be fun as well one day. I don't know if I'll ever pull it off, but perhaps so. All right, well, you know what? Let's move on a little bit. Let's do our free sextuple booster just to see, who knows, what kind of luck we can we can have here. I mean, it's free. We might as well, right? Here we go. All sorts of figures potentially available here as well. So maybe we'll get lucky. All right, here we go. Okay, Frogadier, not so bad. Let's, let's mask this one till it works. Let's see what we get here. Oh, here we go. It's getting, ooh, get some EX coloring here. We got some Terekion action, our very first Terekion pull. I know this guy's been around forever, same as Kabalion, but I never pulled those guys. I don't even think I've I've ever pulled a Verizian. So, like, you know, th those, those swords, boys, I just never got them. I barely got a Keldeo recently. Pikachu. All right. We're halfway through this thing already. Let's see what we're going to get here. Squirtle Squirt. All right. Well, just because we pulled two Gen 1 starters doesn't mean we need Charmander as well. I'm fine without that. Oh, Trico. Speaking of starters, all right. Fair enough. And what's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Here we go. And we have a Xerneas. I will take that pull. That was one of my very first EX in the game when it first launched. So I guess it's kind of poetic to get it in the second anniversary launch, I suppose. Why not? I mean, I, I don't know if I want to run two in one deck. I kind of just like having one and just maybe chain leveling it. Maybe I'll do that or just having it added to my collection. We'll see what happens. But either way, super cool stuff. I will take it easily. Oh, and we have a splash power. I'll, 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 cool. All right. Let's go back to booster. Not bad. We got two EXs for free just for playing the game. So that's that's pretty nice. Cannot complain with that at all. Well, let's see what else we want to do here, guys. I'm I'm honestly, the, the options are crazy. 300 for a sextuple. Let's just take a look at what the featured figures are for this. So we have Reshiram and Zekrom, which are important due to Kirin being a thing. We have Mew, Sceptile, Blaziken, Swampert, Tapu Koko, Tapu Fini, Bulu, Lele, and Altaria, along with Beware. So pretty cool, actually. It's not bad. Um, you're limited five. It's going to have at least one EX figure. It's too bad. I don't think there are any UXs in there, right? Yeah, because there aren't any... Um, there's no Kirim in there. No black or white Kirim. There aren't any Ultra Beasts. Or Mega Pokemon in there, for example. So, I'm not sure if I really want to pull those. I'm not much of a meta guy. I like to just build my own decks and have fun with them. So, let's just go with another 10-pack. Why the heck not? Let's have some fun with this. Alright. And we are bu definitely building up our material collection as well. 
All right, maybe we'll get lucky. Hit me up in the comment section though, guys, and let me know if you'd like to see me open up some of those sex tuples, because again, we are limited to five, so it might be it might make a fun episode, so please let me know. I If I get enough responses for it, I might be inclined to just do so. All right. Let's see. Oh, two rares in a row. Ludicolo. I did not pull him in the last expansion, so I'll take it. There we go. What are we getting? So two rares in a row. We're guaranteed an EX somewhere. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> Azurua. I'm screening shot that as well. <laughs> I, I want to know what those are called, like, because they're not cards, so they're not misprints. It's just like a... I, I don't know. <laughs> That's so cool, though. So random. Poor Zerua. Alright, here we go. Hypno as well. Very nice. Got the creepy boy. Alright, let's match that boy. What are we getting here? Bergmite? What? Oh, I thought it was the same way. I was like, is this going to be whited out too? Alright, so our second Bergmite of the episode at least. Alright, come on. Where's our EX at? Okay, Fomantis, very nice. I believe Lurant, yeah, Lurantis is obviously new to this set as well. Come on now. Savipa. Cool. Alright, here we go, guys. What are we getting here? Looks like here's our EX. And we have a Mike Mordar, one of the oldest guys in the game, but still kind of cool to have it. Magma Order, once upon a time, was actually really, really strong. I believe that was one of the first Pokemon that Kahinkyo, um, a big-time Pokemon dual player, used to um, used to run a lot of. At one point, I think he did, like, three in a deck. I know he definitely did two for a while. Um, Kahinkyo actually being one of the reasons why, like, I really got into the game as much as I am now. But anyway, you know what? Let's go with one more stinking 10-pack for this set. Why not? Let's see what we get lucky with. You never know. You never know. But guys, keep in mind though that we do have a, a show on this channel called Dual School. If you're not familiar, it's a pretty much a breakdown of updates, going over the new figures, what they're capable of, the new strategies added to the game and the meta, potentially speaking, um, what their new attacks are, what their abilities are and such. So be on the lookout for that episode because it will be airing after this one. So if you are subscribed, you will be able to see that. It's just a fun breakdown show that we have. We start a conversation, talk about what attacks are worth leveling up for a particular Pokemon, so on and so forth, what we all think of the new Pokemon as well, so be sure to look into that because I will be talking about it very, very soon. What are we getting here? Another albino Zerua. What's up? Okay. <laughs> all right. Ghosty Zerua, I'm down. All right. Here we go. Another Treaks. What's up, Treaker? Treaker. Someone's been playing a little Last Guardian. All right. Rare boys. Another Weavile? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, I saw that red crest. I don't need any more Weavile. I have a somewhat decent deck with one. Come on, let's get something good. Another Bergmite. Man, where are the EXs hiding? Or UXs for that matter. We have Kyurem in this set. And we have not seen a black, white, or standard Kyurem at all. Or an, an Ultra Beast for that matter. Come on, baby. Here we go. EX. What are we getting? Co another Kabalian. Wow, what are the... What are the odds of that? Okay. Cool. Come on now. Let's get lucky, boys. Exeggutor, get out of here, bro. Come on now. I think this is our last one. What are we getting here? Here comes another EX, it looks like. Oh, wow, Sceptile. Cool. Sceptile... A pretty strong EX Pokemon and Mega Sceptile being even more insane. I will take that. That is a multi EX 10 pack opening. Why not? And yeah, I mean, I already have a couple, but hey, chain leveling is a thing for sure. Another exec. Get out of here, you grass psychic type. What the heck? Not that I have anything against grass psychic types, but that's two executor already that I don't need exactly. But you know what? Hey, oh, you know what? The, oh, we did get two. Yes, right. Kabalian and Sceptile. I was going to say, did we only get one? You know what? I said that would be the last one. Let's go one. Let's go for one freaking more. I should have pressed again, but I went right back to booster. I'm hoping like we're not resetting any sort of odds by doing that, but we'll see. We will freaking see. I I, I want to see if we can get some high pulls here. 
And we're going to have a decent amount of gems left over for further episodes down the line. So come on now. Let's freaking get it. I want to see some new boys here. All right, starting things off with a minimum rare. Cacturn again. Cool. I'll take it. Another cacti. Come on, baby. <laughs> I'm just going to screenshot all of these. Wow. This is, must be a 6.0 thing because I've never seen this before. Let me know if you guys have seen this before in previous updates. And you know what? Oh, wow, there we go. EX Tapu Bulu. We'll take a Tapu. If you guys have ever experienced this, or for everyone you do, screenshot it and send it to me on Twitter, at AJ Applesauce. I want to I wanna see our collection of albino figures <laughs> because it's very interesting. Colorless, we'll call them. Colorless, just like the just like the energy type in the card game. There we go. Our colorless boys. Our premature rendered boys. Gudra, very nice. So yeah, send, tweet me your your screenshots of your of your uh, colorless guys. Hashtag colorless. Let me know. I would love to see that. All right. Oh, sorry about that shine, guys. It looks like I just got a notification of some sort. I'll look at that once we're done here. Litton. What's up, buddy? All right, come on, man. Let's get some new Pokemon in here. The luck is struggling right now. Like, yeah, we've got some cool EX figures in this episode, but I want some new boys and girls. Oh, here we go. Yo, Mega Sceptile. <laughs> Just talking about it. Look at that Stinger. Oh, man, I've been wanting to play a Sceptile and Pokémon for a while, too, but ever since Blastoise dropped, I've just been training with him um, outside of Caesar. So, I mean, maybe this will inspire me to do so because I love the look of this figure and Pokémon in general. It is so sick, and I like its ability. I've been wanting to run Mega Swampert as well, so maybe I should do, like, a Mega... Uh, I'm, uh, uh, Gen 3 Mega Deck one day. I don't know if you guys want to see that. Let me know because we have some material saved up. We might just be able to do something like that. But I'm glad we got a UX for this episode. We needed one because out of all these boosters we've been opening, come on. Okay, Greninja, an EX. Sweet. There we go. Multi EX opening right here. I love it. Heck yes. Well, you know, that's not a bad final booster at all. Did we get Kyurem or Kartana? No, but you know what? We got ourselves some pretty sick EX Pokemon with EX Tapu Bulu, UX Mega Sceptile, and EX Greninja all in one 10-pack. It's kind of hard to ask for anything more than that, considering. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Again, be on the lookout for Dual School, where we're going to be going over the new figures in the game right now. And if there's anything you want to see in particular, hit me up in the comments. I like to read those every day. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great one. Later!